Since I was a child, I was writing stories and drawing and making up my own little world, and I always did, and mostly by writing. And so eventually, I studied anthropology at first because I think it's a discipline that is really contemporary in terms of opening up people's minds and um, looking out, seeing a lot of different ways of seeing the world. And I think that's the artist's job, to, to see the world in a lot of ways and then convey it into the work. As we grow up, we use the mind more and more. And so I saw the mind as a, actually an organic outgrowth of the body and um, something that is completely working in progress, always working in progress, because it's full of projects, ideas and desires and they are a lot more bound than what it looks. I wanted to find a way to um, portray the mind, which is something totally invisible. And so either you work with the body of a performer, but if you want to give it a structure, it's, it's sort of impossible. I, what I did was actually take uh, things that people like, which could be jewelry, could be cars, could be food, and I started attaching it to people. And then I had all these people with these things attached, and it wasn't really what I wanted. And so I thought I would have to go a lot more abstract. And so that's why I focused on the head and then this weight that they would carry would become weightless and would be, um, would be up on their heads. Well, the process is very crafty and very inventive and in this sense it's very Italian in the best way because I think the, the good thing about us is this very, this very sort of um, bubbles of ideas that come out all the time and also the the ability to go through with them and to be very artful and, and clever in the, the, in the making. With videos, I, I always start with the intuition of an image somehow. And then uh, there's a whole process of studying how to develop it into space. And it was actually cutting and pasting and putting together of images as collage and then uh, taking a step away and deciding how to work with this to make them become a storyboard. And then I started to look for a way to make these images more abstract because it didn't have to be something specific, but it had to be uh, the desire, the process, the imagination and uh, our will to set something going within reality. And I think that's what's more, mm, most interesting, how the same process, the same um, situation is actually seen through so many different eyes.